This is the Dumont Television Network. Hello there. Mark Daniel Nelson here on behalf of Audioscape USA bringing you this exciting new piece of gear. We have the ASA 6A. This little piece of equipment was inspired by the RCA BA6A back from the 1950s. Cool part about this compressor is it is fully following the original design. My favorite of all compressors is the Very Muse style compression. Following through the true design, this has the original tube complement of two 6SK7s, two 6J7s, two 6V6GTs, one 6H6, one OD3 slash VR150, and one 5R4GY. Another reason why this sucker sounds so fat is because it has five transformers. An input transformer, an output transformer, an interstage transformer, and a filament transformer. In addition to the power transformer, this has gotten more color tone than you'd ever need out of a box. Not to get too geeky on you about this guy. But the reason why I love it so much is because, apart from the original, it has a couple of new features here. It has tack and release and a threshold. It has a high pass filter, and it follows the same topology as the original with the dual, single, and off. Off mode, essentially, on this guy is bypass. Not true bypass, but taking the compression off the circuit. So you can use it, essentially, as a line amp. Another reason why this guy is so cool is because it has the original tube power supply. Audioscape took a few liberties to make sure that efficiency and modernism was in play here. To take note on the added attack and release, if you set it up to stock on the center and stock on fast, that gets you to the original RCA sound. This also at 24 is stock for the threshold. So essentially, this setting right here is 100% circuit-wise down to the T of the original. Adding this low-pass filter at 120 hertz will help relieve some of that bloom you get off the original as well by putting too much low end and sucking it out. This will basically give you all your low end back while retaining all the sculpture of the top above 120 to grab and color. Now what this switch here adds is something that Audioscape has done on a few of their boxes, including the V-Comp. And it just adds a little more aggressiveness to the signal. So if you wanted to get a little more edge, a little more spank out of the compression, you can toggle this switch up. I'm not totally sure exactly what that does, nor do I care, as it sounds so freaking cool on its own. You can just switch it on, switch it off, and have fun with it. There's a very big reason why I love very new compression so much that sets it aside from other types of compression like BCA, Opto, and FAT. But one thing that this guy does adds so much thick character without implementing too much compression artifacts on the signal. So you can hit 3 dB pretty good on vocals, bass, and such, and you're just getting this wonderful blooming fat effect, which is something that I strive to put on most of my tracks. It's just incredibly fat. So, how does it sound? Well, let's take a listen. Okay, now that we're here in the old laboratory, we're about ready to take a peek at this ASA 6A. I want to play a track by Tammy McCann from Chicago. It's a great jazz track. This was tracked by my mentor, Dennis Tusana at Chicago Recording Company. The year is back. I think it will be a great representation about how to present this old classic piece of gear in a modern status. Before we start, I just want to play the song with no insert on the vocal. I'm going to start with her vocal first. We're going to send it through just in the stock mode. So the stock again is all the way to the hard fast for attack, centered for the release, and at 24 for threshold. This is just our starting point. I'm going to leave the high pass off. I'm going to turn it into single mode, and I'm going to level match it to make sure it's good. I'm going to have it in insert, but before I play it, I'll just take it out, and then we can listen to it with it in. Wanna cry, want to groove. I wanna laugh like a loon. It's that old devil moon in your eye. Now I'm gonna put the insert in. Wanna cry, want to groove. 
I wanna laugh like a loon It's that old devil moon in your eye Just when I think I'm free as a dog Oh, devil moon deep in your eyes blinds me with love you have the center section where she goes down without the compression or vocal ducks underneath. With this guy, it's kind of keeping her voice above. It doesn't sound aggressive unless you start pushing the threshold, which in theory, you're just adding more compression to the very new circuit. Sounds incredible. I look at you and suddenly Something in your eyes I see Soon begins bewitching me Is that a devil moon that you stole from the sky it's that old devil moon in your eye you and your glance make this romance too hot to handle stars in the night blazing their light can't hold a candle to the razzle dazzle you got me old berry muse from this era have so many tubes and so much transformers in it and the way that the very new processes compression through the tubes, it just adds so much character to the track. Without, it sounds really good, but with, it just adds this sense of familiar feeling of that yesteryear sound. Without trying to sound like a salesman here, I mean, look at me, I have a freaking mustache right now. And what, what year is this? I mean, it's, everything's in black and white. Well, I can tell you though, the vibe is there. Let's hear it on bass. This isn't really an extreme song, so it doesn't have a lot of heaviness on the drums. There's not any guitars or anything. I do have an acoustic track I want to play separately in a second. But if I solo one side of the piano and drag one of them on there, we can hear what the compression sound sounds like for just the piano. Again, I'm going to put it on the insert. I'm going to take the high pass off. And we're going to start with it on. So here's just piano. just adds so much character and vibe, a little bit of grit, a little distortion. Sounds freaking great. I want to move to the drums just for fun, just to see how it responds. I'm going to put it on snare. Listen to how it fattens things up. The other cool thing about this box that the original as well did is that when it's compressing, 
It darkens things. It, it doesn't take a terrible amount of EQ out of it, but it almost takes it as like a DS or a vocal or a little bit of harshness, a little edge for some of the digital stuff that we record now in digital format. It just kind of rounds everything out. I want to pull up a different track, just an acoustic guitar, just for fun. I want to hear what it sounds like in and out. I'm going to take it out first. And with it in. hit it just a little harder just to hear what the compression sound sounds like. My final thoughts are this. I'm a super sucker for valve Verimuse style compression. And it's one of those things where most of the time for something to be done right, it costs quite a bit of money. Um, my favorite all time compressors were from an era that space was not important and size didn't matter. And doesn't matter how many tubes you would have or transformers. It was all about how can we make boxes sound the best they can. The original RCA, is one of those compressors that has such a unique thumbprint. And to be able to kind of bring that back in a way, visually and sonically, to a place where most people can get it, is super awesome. So that's all I can really say. It's a happy mixing. <laughs>